morning. Uh, my name is Nick Christofides. I'm the Vice Principal of Burn Creek Community School. I'd like to begin today by having Lily Whitford, one of our Grade 11 students, come up and do a First Nations Acknowledgement. Salish nations of Musqueam, Tsleil-Waututh, and Squamish, whose traditional territory we teach, learn, and live on. Thank you in the Coast Salish Halkomelem language is Hejka, and as you say this, please raise your hands to acknowledge and thank the people. special guests. They include the Minister of Education, the Honourable Mike Bernier, Richard T. Lee, MLA for Burnaby North, Ron Burton, Chair of Burnaby Board of Education, Trustee Eljinder Narang, Assistant Superintendent of Schools Heather Hart, the Principal of Burn Creek Community School Dave Starr, and the Vice Principal of Burn Creek Community School, Anita Sortome. Also, the Italian Education Consul, Simona Fimiani, and Italian Consul General, Massimiliano Iacchini. Well, today I'm really excited uh, to be at Burn Creek Community School. Today is about celebrating international education. It's International Education Week in British Columbia. So as the minister, uh, it's really uh, an opportunity and an exciting time for me to get out and talk about our diversity in British Columbia, how exciting it is to welcome so many international students. And today is really about just that recognition and celebration. one of the best schools in British Columbia for not only welcoming but for educating our international students and today was just uh, again a, a really exciting time to meet so many great students from all around the world to hear their stories and to be uh, part of the experience today was, was really great that's why we chose Burn Creek because of the amazing students here. My name is Massimiliano Iacchini. I'm a Consul General of Italy here in Vancouver. And this is a very good school. Uh, the environment is very multicultural and uh, I think it's the right mix and it's a uh, very big opportunity for our students to enrich their, uh, their life, their educational life, and their personal life as well. And so, so of course I would, like, I would encourage to, to come to this school. Today, I have an unbelievable opportunity to talk together and to explain how this experience has changed my future. I love traveling since I was a child. I visited a lot of countries, France, Germany, Egypt, Turkey, the UK. I knew that I was looking for something, something that I found only here in Canada. You're a dreamer, you're an idealist, I was told. I knew that probably it, it was true. But I also was aware that dreaming is the only way to face the future always with hope and confidence. This country is offering me a lot of opportunities. I'm meeting new people, cultures and friends. I'm improving my language. But in particular, I've learned something that cannot be taught in a class. In my school, by joining and volunteering with Leo Club, I understood that I can directly contribute to making the world a better place even in my small community. I understood that I must always be ready to lend a hand because what we give today, we will be given tomorrow. Every day, I try to remind me how fortunate I am. Every day, I try to remind me not to take anything for granted. Every day, I try to do as much as possible to thank my parents for being here today because the world can do everything 
by the actions as well. Often, I like to think about my future. I'd love to study here in British Columbia and to pursue my career, working abroad for my government or for an international organization. But I deeply know that this is selfishness. What we do does not have any sense without an important aim. I had been reflecting for long about it. And the only answer I found is that probably we should only try to protect our values and act for the best. I love imagining a world where all the children, boys and girls, have the same right to education. I love imagining a world without worse violence, with less poverty. I know that a lot of people are working for this. One day, I'd like to be one of them. I'll be honest, I still don't know what I will do in my life, but I know how I will live my life. I will always remember, and in my heart there will always be space for this unbelievable experience here in British Columbia. Thank you. The kids have been amazing all morning. They've oh, been great. so helpful and it's been a fantastic experience. So yeah, no, we're really happy. Good. Okay, great. Yeah. Awesome. us unique is the great work that Ms. Fujiki and the Leos do in, um, in ensuring that our international kids are included and a vibrant part of our community. We picked Burn Creek for this event because the local students are highly involved with the international students. They've been so welcoming of the international students, so supportive, and like I said, involved with them from day one at their orientation uh, until the day that, that they leave our school. I think a very uh, critical factor, reason for this, is because of uh, the teacher, teacher Mrs. Judy Fujiki, uh, and her Leo Club. Uh, I think they have contributed to the success of our international student program and of our international students at Burn Creek. And it's wonderful to see how appreciative our local students are of our international students. And I just think Burn Creek is doing a fabulous job and are, is an amazing school that represents uh, the value and respect for, for cultural diversity. I am so proud of, of the work that happens here, of the creativity of the staff here and the leadership and the students. The students, as you've seen yourself, are, are awesome and inspiring and I feel they will go places because their foundation is so solid and that's where Burn Creek has done a great job. So I'm very proud of what's happening here. You know, 
was, today was just an exciting day to be at Burn Creek Community School, to meet so many amazing students, to hear their stories, uh, to talk to them about their experiences. And so when I look at international education, I guess my message would be to other students around the world that you want to look at British Columbia as a great place to come. It's a welcoming place and you'll get an amazing education and an amazing once-in-a-lifetime experience being here.